Excuse me. Do you yeah. have any keys or money in your pockets? No. No. I think I've taken everything out. Okay. Go ahead and walk through the body scanner. Will I feel anything? No, sir. Just walk through and keep your hands in the air. Okay. Uh, uh. Uh. We need to do some additional screening. Sorry, sir. Please come this way. Did I... Did you find something? Relax, sir. Okay? I'm going to open your carry-on bag. Uh, uh. As I'm going through it, please do not try to touch it. But, I mean... Let's, uh. Let's see here. Um... First of all, sir, you can't take any liquids like this bottled water past this point. Uh, well, I really can't drink any other kind of water. Sierra Springs is the only bottled water I drink. Sorry, sorry, sir. Oh. And, sir, what's this? No, no, sir. You cannot bring a lighter on the plane. But I don't smoke. I well, mean, you still can't bring it on the plane. Yeah, but I have it just in case of emergencies, you know, as an emergency fire starter in case the plane crashes into a dark forest. Sir, uh, you'll have to leave that here. Oh. What's this? Uh, well, that's my pocket knife. A pocket knife? It's almost a foot long. Well, it's a special knife given to me by my grandfather, but I only use it to peel apples and fruit. You know, things like that. Sir, I'm sorry, but you can't take that on the plane. In fact, uh, do you have any other prohibited items in your bag? Well, I, I don't... Mean, didn't you read the sign back there explaining all the items that were not allowed on board? Well, I started to read it, and then I got a little distracted. A but... little? Sir, how many times have you flown on an airplane? Uh, it's been a while. I think the last time I traveled by plane was about, uh, 1960. Sir, why don't you come with me? What? I think my supervisor would like to ask you a few questions. Oh, no. Hey, Logan, how about some chocolate peanut butter milkshake? Yum, 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 yum. Dad, what are you feeding my child? What? He shouldn't eat anything but rice and plain bread. He's not supposed to eat anything else right now. (sighs) Oh, this rice is so good, Logan. Yum, yuck, yuck. Sorry, Logan, but hey, look. Hey. Your mom's in the other room. Let's forget about the rice for a minute. One bite of this chocolate milkshake won't hurt. Here, take a small bite. No, a big bite. Yeah. How does my child like the rice? Well, Logan, look. You have chocolate all over your face. Let me clean up your face before your mom comes in here. Dad... Is he not eating? Do I need to come in there? No, no, no. We're fine. Thanks. Logan and I are just talking about politics, the stock market, you know, the economic turmoil in the world. Just light stuff like that. Oh, yeah. That's all he needs. I'm coming in there. No, no, no. No need. Oh. Dad, what have you been giving him? We've just been sharing some of this chocolate rice uh, milkshake. You know it doesn't come in flavors, right? It just comes in rice. <laughs> that, that's a, uh. Look, wash his face. We have to go to the store. Get him cleaned up. Okay, Logan, I guess I'll have to finish the milkshake myself. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to today's show. And joining me today is my daughter, Ashley, who has had to endure my cooking experiments over the years. Are we ready, Ashley? Ready to eat. Well, let's wait for a few minutes. We'll get to that. But as you know, my faithful listeners, I started cooking and baking almost 30 years ago when my grandmother taught me in her humble kitchen. In fact, she taught me almost everything I know. And I've never attended cooking classes. You should have. Wait, wait, wait. 
I know my daughter's going to mention to you faithful listeners that recently, as I was helping the kids prepare for our kitchen for a chicken meal, I forgot to take the chicken out of the oven, burn the bird to a crisp, and we ended up ordering pizza for dinner. We had to use the fire extinguisher. <laughs> but that's another story. So anyway, today I'd like to share with you our favorite, at least my favorite, chocolate chip cookie recipe. Now, before you switch the TV channel, I know what you're thinking. Another fattening cookie recipe? But wait, what makes this recipe great is that it offers a wonderful low-fat, low-calorie, low-cholesterol dessert for the entire family. We still like the fat, though. <laughs> well, I know we do, but let's say um, we have all the ingredients, and so we can start by mixing all of the ingredients, the sugars the flour, the egg whites, the low-fat butter, vanilla, baking soda, and a pinch of salt in a large mixing bowl. Then we add the mini chocolate chips. Now, my kids would like me to add the big ones, but we start with the mini chocolate chips. And don't forget to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And finally, when the cookies are done, take them out of the oven, remove them from the cookie sheet, and let them cool before their fingers get into them. Did I forget anything? Yeah. If you have college-age kids, be sure to make a few extra batches they can take back to school for their roommates. And don't forget, the kid's still at home. Oh, well, yeah, we can't do that. We can't forget them. And, unfortunately, by the time your kids get the cookies, you, the cook, will be left with a single cookie, your instant diet plan for you and a dirty kitchen. So, that's all for today. On next week's show, we will be showing you how to feed hungry teenagers on a budget without having to sell the family car. Until then. Hey, Ashley, how many people are coming to the barbecue tomorrow? Well, um, there's your family. That's four people. Okay. There are three from my work. Okay. And then Mike and Megan from across the street. And you and me, of course. Okay. So what is everyone bringing? Um, let's see. Here's my list. Um, your brothers are bringing hamburgers, cheese, and buns. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad they're in charge of that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you know, my brother Jim, he eats like a horse. Uh-huh. <laughs> and at the last barbecue, he put away at least, what, five hot dogs and five cheeseburgers? No, was, I think it was six. <laughs> six cheeseburgers. And it might have been more hot dogs. I don't know. He was still hungry. I know. I don't know how he did it. He does that all the time. He's And he's not even fat, you would think. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah. Anyway. So my friends from work said that they could bring chips and salsa. Okay. And they're going to bring a salad. All right. And one of them is vegetarian, so she's going to bring her own veggie burger, so you don't have to worry about her. Okay, that's that'll work out. And Mike and Megan, you're going to love this. They're going to bring some of the corn from their garden. Oh, their corn is always so, so good. Yeah, I know. It's wonderful. So, um, yeah, and what about drink? Well, we're going to have soda and juice and ice water as well. Okay. And what about dessert? I already have some ice cream and some homemade apple pie in the fridge. Oh, I can't wait. This is going to be fun. Yeah. Hi, I have a reservation for tonight and I just want to check in. Sure. What's your name? Uh, Mike Adams. Okay, let me check here. Um, here's your key to open your door. You're in room 360. Just walk okay. down the hall and you'll see the elevators on your right. Oh, okay. And what time is the restaurant open for breakfast? It serves breakfast from 6.30 to 10 a.m. Oh, okay. And uh, where's the exercise room? I'd like to, you know, run a couple of miles before going to bed tonight. It's on the second floor and it's open till 10 tonight. Okay. But the treadmill isn't working. Oh, Oh, well. Um, and one final question. Do you have wireless internet in the rooms? We do. Oh. For seven ninety five a night. Oh. I thought something like that would be free. No, sorry, sir. 
But you can get free wireless access if you sit in the parking lot on the north side. Oh. You see, the hotel next to us has wireless and... <laughs> well, great. Um, and, uh, oh, forget that. And uh, every room has a refrigerator, right? Well, we can have one put in your room for an additional $10 a night. Oh. I thought something like that would be included in the price of the room. Sorry, sir. Well, you know what? It... it kind of irks me when hotels nickel and dime their customers like this. I mean, I check with several... I mean, I check with several... You really should have checked this one, too, shouldn't you, buddy? <laughs> I, I guess what I... Uh, I'm all flustered now. I mean, all the other hotels provide these amenities for free. Sorry, sir. It's just the way it is at this hotel. And the bed? Is that extra, too? Of course not. Uh, oh, I've had it. I'll just try the hotel across the street. I'm sure they'll, they'll give me better service. Okay, but you'll be canceling your reservation here, so we'll have to charge you a cancellation fee of 50% of the cost of the room. Oh, forget it. I can't win either way. What's my room again? 360. Ugh. Dad! Dad! What's for breakfast? <sighs> Dad? <laughs> what? What's for breakfast? Oh, there's a banana on the kitchen counter. Enjoy. Dad, that banana's all bruised, and it looks like the cat took a bite out of it last night. Dad, wake up. <sighs> okay. Uh, there's some cereal in the cupboard. Help yourself. But there's no milk. Well, just mix up some powdered milk. Uh, no way. That stuff is nasty and warm. Come on, Dad. Well, okay. I guess I could make some pancakes. Uh, no. Last time you made pancakes, they were as hard as a rock. Even the dog wouldn't touch them. That bad? Yeah. All right. Wait. Why in the world are we having this conversation anyway? You're 19 years old. Make your own breakfast. I'm going back to bed. Because you love me. Mm. Plus, you said that you'd make something for me if I cleaned the dishes last night. <sighs> okay, how about some eggs and bacon? I can't go wrong there. Okay, but don't put any of that funny stuff in it. You know those weird mushrooms, oh. like you did last time. Okay, okay. So you want me to keep things simple, right? Exactly, but please hurry. My friend is picking me up in a few minutes. On a Saturday morning? Yeah, he's taking me fishing. Fishing? Since when did you start liking fishing? Since Dirk gave me this ring. What do you think? What? Wait, I'm not going to ask. Let me get breakfast on the table, then we'll have a long chat. Oh, he's here. I'll take $20 out of your wallet. I can buy breakfast on the way. Bye. Oh, no. Honey, where are my keys to the car? I need to go to work now. Here, take this. What's this? It's the bus schedule. You'd better hurry or you're going to miss it. What do you mean? I want to drive to work. Well, you can't. At least not today. Huh? Listen, you've had two speeding tickets over the last couple months, and you had that car accident last week. What? That wasn't my fault. Really? You ran into a police car sitting alongside the road <laughs> because you were distracted while texting on your phone. Wait, there's more to the story than that. And when I called the car insurance the other day, they said our insurance rates are going up a lot, especially if you stay on the insurance. What? But you can still save us money if you take a defensive driving course. A what? No. And it's only $250 for the 15-hour class. What? That's a ripoff. I can't fork out that kind of money for a course like that. Do they think I'm loaded or something? And this is a course you have to take in person. <sighs> you can't do it online. <laughs> what? Let's talk about this after your bus ride home tonight. <sighs> Um, excuse me, is this seat taken? It is now. Take a seat. Uh, thanks. Um, 
I've been waiting for over two hours for the bus to come. Oh, yeah. The bus broke down about 50 miles back. Actually, the bus driver lost control of the bus when he spilled hot chocolate on himself. And then he tried to regain control of the bus and hit a rock and blew a tire. Uh, are you sure this bus is safe? I ain't sure if it's safe, but you can't beat the price. <laughs> um, well, um, where are you from? To tell you the truth, I really don't know. What? Uh, what, what do you mean? Well, you see, I was adopted when I was a baby, and I was told that I was born in New York City, but I can't be sure of that. Then my new parents raised me in a small town in Texas. I'm sure you have never heard of it. Huh? Oh, where? Well, well, my parents, Fred and Norma, had a farm, and I grew up milking cows and herding sheep and... Actually, I'm on my way to visit them now. You're going back to Texas? Oh, no. They sold that farm years ago when they discovered oil on the property. They live on a ranch right outside of Las Vegas now. Beautiful place with a pool. Las Vegas? Las it, Vegas? Yeah. I thought this bus was heading to Chicago in the oh. opposite direction. Oh, no, you're on the wrong bus. I, I've got to get off. Oh, no, relax. Spend a weekend with me and my parents on the ranch. I can teach you how to milk a cow or something like that. I have to get off. Oh, well, once this bus left the last station, it ain't going to stop until the next station three hours from now. And, and and the bus driver got really upset when the last passenger made the same mistake. So sit and relax. Let me tell you about the farm. I have plenty of stories. Oh, no, no. Yeah, well, once upon a time... Uh. Hi, how can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to rent a mid-sized car for three days. Okay, let me check to see if we have one available. Hmm. Okay. It doesn't look like we do. We have a couple of economy, compact, and full-size cars available for a nice minivan. Well, what is the main difference between those cars? The main difference is size. Okay. The economy car is the smallest, right. and it seats fewer passengers and can hold less luggage. Okay. How many people are with you? Just me and my son. Well, the economy car would work. We have one right out front. Where? That one? It looks more like a shoebox to me. I'm really tall, and trying to squeeze into that thing? I don't think so. Well, if you need more room and comfort, I recommend the full-size car. It also okay. has a nice stereo system, CD player, All right. safety rear door locks, and cruise control, and okay. power locks and windows. Well, I'm not so concerned about how it's equipped. I just want to make sure it's comfortable to drive. And what's the daily rate for that anyway? Well, let's see here. Oh, yeah, it comes to fifty-seven ninety-five a day. Wow, that's a little expensive. But what is the cost for mileage? Hey, all our cars have unlimited miles, but of course that doesn't include gas. Yeah, right. I bet that car probably eats up gas, and now that we're in the middle of the vacation season... Gas stations are gouging consumers with astronomical prices. Well, as they say, it comes down to the law of supply and demand. Well, anyway, can you install a car seat in one of those cars? I have a three-year-old son with me. Sure, that'll only be one dollar extra per day. I'll go with the full-size car. Wait, uh, what does it look like? Uh, it's right out there in the parking lot. Which one? The one over there next to the sidewalk. Do you mean that old lemon with the missing hubcap? Oh. Sir, excuse me. We take pride in our vehicles. It's just that it's one of the last cars on our lot, but it runs like a dream. Uh, Don't I... let the exterior fool you. Hey, I'll even give you an extra $15 off the daily rate to show you we are serious about pleasing our customers. Will there be any other drivers? No, I'm the only driver. Okay. Would you like to purchase our daily car protection plan? What's that exactly? Well, the car protection plan is a complete insurance package covering damage to the vehicle, okay. injury or loss of life to you or your passengers, oh. and even includes incidental road damage caused by, let's say, a huge boulder rolling down the mountain and crushing your car. Oh, uh, well. However, it won't cover loss of property due to theft. 
too much crime in the area anyway. What? 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 Well, what about this crime? What? Don't worry about what? it. Right. And the car protection plan is only seventeen ninety five per but, day. But you were saying? And the nicest thing about this covers is that you can rent the car without worry and hassle making a complicated claim in case you have a problem. But wouldn't my own car insurance cover those problems? It, <laughs> it might. Each insurance policy is different. With our car protection plan, however, you deal directly with us in case there's a problem. Well, and we handle everything quickly. And you don't have to contact your own insurance company. Okay, let me confirm this. A full-size car with a car seat for three days yeah, okay. plus the car protection package. Is that right? That's right. Okay, I'll have our mechanic, Louie, check the car over and pull it up to the door. Push it up to the door? I hope this car really runs. Well, in case it does break down on some out-of-the-way deserted road, what? just call the toll-free number for assistance. They'll come to assist you within two business days. Enjoy two, your trip. Two business days? <laughs> Ryan, I just want you to know that I'm going to school to become an auto mechanic. Oh, uh, what? Does Nad know about this? Who cares? It's my life. I really enjoy working on cars. <sighs> I get it. You want to study auto mechanics because of your new boyfriend. W what's his name? Jimmy J or something? Listen, auto mechanics is a man's job. No, you got it all wrong. What? First of all, his name is James. And oh. second, he doesn't work at an auto shop anymore. He had a job there for five years, and he really liked his job because he really learned how to identify and fix problems. You, on the other hand, can't even change the toilet paper roll in the bathroom. Hey, that's not fair. And James is now back in college. He's majoring in nursing. Nursing? Nur that's a woman's job. I cannot believe I'm hearing this. What? A man can be a nurse and they can do the job just as well as anybody else. Yeah. Nurses, whether they're men or women, can care for the sick, the elderly, and things like that. Ah. And are you saying that women can't be farmers, carpenters, or truck drivers? Well, most men do those jobs. So, and anyway, women could do them if they want. I just think that women are... Better suited to be secretaries, waitresses, piano teachers, you know. Man, you're stuck in the 18th century. No one will marry you. No, well, just forget this. But, well, not to change the subject, but I'm having a problem with my car, and I was wondering if Jimmy, I mean James, could take a look at it. Forget it. Start pushing. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. It's good to be up. What a beautiful morning. Uh, it's a quarter to two. It's not the morning at all. What are you doing in the kitchen anyway? Well, I'm going to make breakfast and check my email to see if anyone has responded to my advertisement for a new roommate. Right. <laughs> Right. What do you mean, right? Well, listen, who's going to want to live with you? You can't even take care of yourself. What are you talking about? I get up early every morning at 6 o'clock. Uh, add about six hours to that. And I always make nutritious meals. Uh... I don't think McDonald's Big Macs and fries count. And I keep my room very tidy. Uh, I think I saw some old dishes, empty pizza boxes, and some real dirty socks under your bed. And I go to bed at a very early hour. Do you call midnight early? Listen, give it up. Unless you make some major changes in your life, your only companion will be your pet fish, Ralph. I wonder if this is going to be an interesting class. Yeah, me too. So, what's your major? Well, I've been batting around the idea of going into business, but I haven't decided yet, and my 
Dad keeps telling me I have to choose a major, but I'm undeclared at the moment. Ah, that's what happened to me my freshman year. Oh, so what year are you in school? I'm a senior, and I only have to take ten more credits to graduate. Well, that must feel great to be almost finished with school. You can say that again, but once I graduate, I have to start repaying a student loan. Ooh. So I'm not looking forward to that. But didn't your parents help you out with your college tuition? No, my dad said he wasn't made of money, so he thought I should earn my own education. So I worked like crazy in the summer and part time during the school year to cover my costs. Well, that's parents for you. And I received some financial aid and a scholarship one year, which really saved me. Oh, that's nice. But this past year, school has been more demanding, so I haven't been able to work as much. Well, you know, at least you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. That's true. Well, have you lined up a job yet? Not yet, but I'm trying to line up a few interviews at the job fair next month. Well, at least you have some ideas on your future. I mean, I'm taking a business class right now, and the teacher always lectures us by saying that life is difficult, and we should prepare for our futures by setting realistic goals. And the only place that success comes before work is in the dictionary. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard all that before. Let me guess: is your teacher Paul Jones? Yeah. How do you know him? I mean, did you have him too? I mean, the guy is—you know—he's just real. He's, he's my dad. Yep. Your dad. I, I mean, I, I didn't mean anything by what I said. I wasn't bad mouthing him or anything. I mean, he's a good teacher and all. It's just that. Hey, he's a dad. That's what dads do. Well, Lecture. He has about a thousand sermons on life, and he always shares them in his classes. Yeah. Well, um, nice talking to you. I ha- I have to go. Same here. Bye. I'll tell Mr. Jones you said hello, and maybe we could study together at my house. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Taylor. Let's go ahead and begin. First of all, tell me about your last job. Well, as I stated on my resume, I worked for five years at High Tech Computers. Okay, High Tech. And what do you know about computer networks and operating systems, including DOS, Windows, Macintosh OS, and Unix? Hmm. Well, I did come in contact with computers every night at my last job. Hmm. And how about website authoring skills? We're looking for someone to create and manage our company's website, which would include the development,、mm-hmm. configuration, and use of CGI scripts.、Mm, uh, web page, web page.、Uh, I don't think I've read that book, and I'm afraid I've never used those CGI things. Huh. And what about experience with Java or JavaScript? Well, I think I've tried Java at a foreign coffee shop one time. If that's what you mean. Huh. Okay, Mr. Taylor. I think I have all the information I need. Oh, and I really like computer games. I play them every day. Right. Right. Thanks, Mr. Taylor. We'll be in touch. Hi. Uh, haven't we met before? You look so familiar. Yeah, we met on campus last week, yeah, and you yeah. asked me the same question. Oh, oh, really? I'm sorry, but I'm really terrible with names. But, 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 let me guess. It's Sherry, right? No, but you got the first letter right. I know, I know. It's on the tip of my tongue.、Uh, wait,、uh, Sandy, Susan. Nope. So I was that memorable? It, wait, wait. It's Sharon. You got it, and only on the fourth try. So, well, Sher- I mean Sharon. How are you? Not bad. And what was your name? It's Ben, but everyone calls me BJ. And、uh, what do you do, a sh- a Sharon? I'm a graduate student majoring in TESOL. A TESOL? What's that? It stands for teaching English as a second language. I want to teach English to non-native speakers overseas. Oh yeah, I'm pretty good at that English grammar, you know, verbs and adjectives. And、uh, hey, that sounds really exciting. And do you need some type of specific degree or experience to do that? 
I mean, could I do something like that? Well, most employers overseas are looking for someone who has at least a bachelor's degree and one or two years of experience. Oh. And what do you do? Are you a student on campus? Yeah, but、uh, I guess I'm mulling over the idea of going into accounting or international business. But I guess I'm leaning now towards a degree in marketing. Oh, uh, well, I have to run. I have a class in ten minutes. Oh, okay. And、uh, by the way, there's this、uh, dance on campus at the student center tonight, and、uh, I was wondering if you'd,、uh, you know, like、uh, to come along. Oh, really? Well, perhaps. Okay. Well, bye. Hey, sis, are you interested in buying some books for school? You can really save money that way. Well, what do you have? Well, let's see. I have a science book called Today's World, and I'm selling it for thirty dollars. Thirty. That's a little expensive for a beat-up book like that. Oh,、well, maybe so, but I bought it for sixty. Plus, I wrote a lot of notes in the book that should help you with the class if you can read my writing. What else are you selling? Okay, I have an English writing textbook for fourteen dollars, a math book for twenty-three, and a novel for only seven bucks. Uh, hmm. Hey, what's up to you? You know these things go fast. I mean, you have to listen to my advice as your older brother. <laughs> I'll take the English book and the novel. I need both of those for sure. I think I'll hold off on buying other books for now. Okay. Teachers are always changing their minds about textbooks. All right. And what are those books? Which one? Ah,、uh, uh, nothing. Wait, 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 uh, never wait. mind. Finding your perfect someone. You're、oh. selling it for forty dollars. What? What's this all about? In the Price. Well, yeah, it's a, it's just a marital relations class, you know, about finding a partner. You know, mom's always, you know, on me about that. And what does it matter to you anyway? Forty dollars. It's a little expensive. Well, they guarantee results, but、uh, never mind. You would never understand. What about this one? Introduction to gourmet cooking. Why'd you、um, take this class? You hate cooking. Well. Um, I have a friend who's into cooking, and she's. She. I, I mean, my friend's taking the class. I mean,、uh, does it really matter? A marriage class, a close female friend, <laughs>、no. a cooking textbook. I, I think I get the picture. Mom's gonna be excited about this. Oh, you got it all wrong. So, do you want to buy any of these textbooks or not? 